Hey guys, Mike here from Panther Hollow Sporting Optics. Today, Dustin and I are going to go out to the Missouri Mile and see if we can get the old uh, 308 on at uh, 1,200 yards and uh, see how the loads work. And you got some load testing to do? Too? Yeah, so I'm going to do some load testing. Um, I'm going to take the seven saw with me, uh, the one we seen in the last video that you and I done together. Um, you know, I got some load data information from a, a guy on Sniper Hide. His name is uh, David the Dog. It's cool, cool name David, there. David the Dog. That's pretty cool, man. <laughs> but uh, anyways, he gave me some information on some lows, and I want to test it out at distance. Uh, so far, I'm liking it, so we're going to see what it does. Heck yeah. Guys, the next time you see us, uh, we'll be at the Missouri Mile. Stand by. Hey, guys. Me and Dustin are here at the Missouri Mile. And uh, we're going to try out the 7 saw and a 308. And uh, Dustin's with us today, so anything to say, Dustin? Yeah. Um, so, hey, guys. Uh, glad to be back with Mike today. We're going to try this Missouri Mile. Um, I'm going to attempt, or we're going to attempt to do a first round impact uh, right at 1,200 yards, cold bore. Uh, I haven't even shot it past the 520 yards yet. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of basically doing this for a couple of buddies of mine, uh, uh, Brad and, and uh, Randall, I kind of wanted them to see this. Uh, so that's kind of what we're out here doing today and eventually we're going to stretch her out to a mile, hopefully. Alright guys, it looks like we got a cloudy day, probably a half value wind right now. And we're going to take the 308 and 7 saw to 1200, stand by. Alright guys, you can see there my barrel temperature is at 70 degrees we're doing a cold bore shot at 1200 yards dustin doesn't have a sticker on his barrel i'll just show you mine anyway she's going to attempt a cold bore shot at 1200 with a new load oh you want me to shoot i right, send this one okay impact almost dead center Almost dead center. Yeah. Do it again. Impact. Left edge. Okay, I'm going to go for the same plate. All right, you good? Yeah. below your dot and now there to the right yeah all right see that small plate there yeah I'm gonna aim at it okay you gonna do it no go ahead well you're gonna aim at that little bitty plate all right oh just, just over the top of it buddy all right, I'm gonna try it. Barely let your gun cool off a little bit there. Yeah. Are you good? Go ahead. Left of it. Woo, that was close. Got it. Bang! Impact! <laughs> there you go, man. Yep. Did you get it? Yeah, oh yeah. I'll, I'll send it. I heard it. I heard it that up. time. Yep. Two right there together. Holy cow, Mike. <laughs> Was that the uh, A tips? Oh, A tips? I hadn't even tried flinging the. Can you see it? I can see them. See if I can get that 12 inch plate again. Whew. Got it. Top right, cor left corner. Just off. Oh! Man, I tell you what, this freaking 308 shoots, buddy. 
Yeah. That is so crazy. I just put two impacts like right there on the left corner. You see that? Yeah. That corner, huh? Yeah, I see that. Impact. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> We're knocking those 12 inch targets out, man. Huh? That's 12 inch target at 1200 yards. That's a one foot size target. I'm at 130 degrees on my barrel. All right, guys. Got the barrel heated up there. We're at 130 degrees. And uh, we're all over that small plate out there. 12 inch plate at 1200 yards. All right, guys, we're back. Dude, I'm telling you to get information. So what? if you guys don't know, what Dustin did is he, uh, he talked to somebody on Sniper's Hide and he got some load information from a guy that was also shooting a seven saw. And we took that load information and he done some testing at his house. How'd it go? Yeah, so when I shot it, it literally shot exactly the same specs that, that Dave told me um, in our message that he told me, you know, use 41.5 grains of Arda, told me the stick out lane, and uh, he told me my velocity should have been between uh, 2782 and 2800-ish, and uh, it was literally 2782 and SD of 6. That's awesome. So you guys, I guess, is he use, did he use the same reamer you did? I uh, believe, I, I believe, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe uh, Clayton's the only one with reamer. You can rent his reamer. I don't oh, okay. know how all that works, but I got you. I, got uh, you. I know you can rent a reamer from him and get it cut. Um, but okay. he, but Dave told me about having five, five of those rifles, five different of those rifle barrels, and said that load worked on all of them. So I tried it on mine, and we seen what it did today. Couldn't be happier. No, that's awesome. Um, Dustin done really good. You'll see the video. Uh, we had some issues with the uh, the camera that was actually recording Dustin shooting. Um, we had some rain come in on us, um, so we had to pull one camera down. Um, it didn't capture the video, but we do have the downrange video. Also, we have some uh, some temperature stickers here from Bison Tactical, and you'll see those in the video that I show you these these uh, the, their temperature stickers for your barrel. And uh, you'll, you've already seen those. They, they work really well. Uh, I was keeping an eye on my barrel temperature, and uh, I'm really enjoying that sticker. Now, that's the first day I've used it. We're going to use it this weekend in the F-Class match and see how it goes. As far as my 168 grain bullets uh, go, um, Sam, if you're watching, man, uh, I'm not sure why you sold this rifle. <laughs> because it's shooting really, really well. Uh, maybe, uh, maybe you found one that shot better, I don't know, but I've done some of the best shooting I've, I've ever done at 1,200 yards. We were hitting a 12-inch uh, steel plate pretty much at will. I mean, the wind was changing on us and stuff like that, but we were getting her done. Um, Dustin had a, uh, a group on that 12-inch plate that was probably around three inches, would be my guess, three inches or under, at 1,200 yards, that's that's absolutely amazing, especially the conditions we were shooting in. We had a thunderstorm rolling in, and it was cloudy and windy. The wind, wind was off and on. Um, so it was a great day of shooting. The Savage done really well. Um, this this gun here's got a home here. Um, I could I probably could have sold this gun several times now, over. But uh, I'm super happy with it. Sam, if you're watching, I appreciate you, sir. Uh, I know you've never tried the 168s in here. In, in this particular rifle, but man, they're doing really good for me, even though this thing's set up for the juggernauts. You got anything to add, bud? No, I, no but this rifle is a tack driver, yes, it is. It's crazy, it's crazy how well it's doing. I mean, a factory action with the, with the, with uh, Savage's factory barrel, it's really, really doing well. So, anyways guys, I appreciate you watching, and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.